fussy African. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see them? Do you see them? <laughs> there they are. <laughs> this one. This another one. Another one. the mm -hmm. moon and not even excited. Mm -hmm. she, she calls me and we sit on the phone for like four hours literally. Mm -hmm. That friend oh I met her for the first time we hadn't met. Oh yeah it's the first time we see each other <laughs> and the chemistry is still there yeah <laughs> she's an online friend if all of my online friends turn out to be the same mm -hmm. when I meet them in person because I met another girl like on my YouTube channel and we spoke for so long <laughs> Why? What can you compare this to? Hi. From Zimpulu to Etegwin. Explain a matter of food. Elaba and 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 Elaba <laughs> Can you guys say Beijing? We made it together. Beijing, we made it. No, you have to do the face. Beijing, we made it. Three, two, one. Beijing, we made it. Ah, Ruth, Ruth was left out. Beijing, we made it. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, I met the Great Wall of China and we've come here with my mom and it's such a difficult thing to do in winter so walking along the sidewalk is such a struggle but it's literally the nicest thing I've seen it's literally like walking up to heaven that's what it looks like it's so beautiful my mom and friends are still behind so I'm taking this time just to show you uh, the view and everything else excuse this this will definitely not be a creative film because it is so difficult to walk up <laughs> so I'm in the Great Wall of China and apparently there's a fake one uh, I don't know what it's called but the real one if you find yourself in Beijing is called Badaling, Badaling. So make sure you listen to that uh, name when you come to Beijing to check out the Great Wall of China. So I'm gonna focus on walking, and I can show you the the way as well, just so you can see how intense it is. So my mom is on that side. Hey, this side is better, not that side. It's slippery. Who's slippering a lot? It's worse. 
It's worse. We're about. Kung lonam la. It's clean. But be careful. So there's my mom. She's struggling. Like everyone is struggling to go up, and you have to do it slowly, and you have to hold on to these railings. These are the railings that you need to hold on for dear life and you can potentially slip like going down is more difficult than coming up you know there she is i've taken everyone's bags we're here with my friend's daughter as well so it's such a struggle hold on don't let go don't let go whatever you do don't let go we can't give up ma we cannot give up how far are we now i don't know put on your gloves and you hold on and you push yourself we cannot give up so we are a cable car the only way to find one is to go to the top We'll do it together, I'm going to swim back. Yes, of course. I'm going to just swim back. But it's a nice experience. So, working on the snow to meet this great wall of China. I wonder what experience it is, but it's a great experience. I'm very happy and I'm over excited. I've learned in 1970s, at the age of 16, if I'm not mistaken, about the Great Wall of China. But for me, I've seen it. So now, I feel I'm. As I, as I saw this great wall of China, mm. my history group, I was doing grade 11 mm. by that time. But now, say you want to see. That's so emotional. I am Hi everyone, sorry about the audio at this specific spot. I didn't realize that until I came back home. I was just basically telling my mom how fortunate I felt as well for doing the Great Wall at the time that we did it. It was just the perfect timing for everything. When we got there, it started snowing. And when we came back, there was just too much snow cover for the other people behind us. So it was more intense. We literally went there at God's perfect time. Just imagine you hate the rain all your life and it rains on your wedding day. And just as you step out for the ceremony, everything stops and the sun comes out. 
That's literally the feeling that I got from this trip. And I felt a sense of achievement as well. We've never been in such extreme winter. So it was just out of this world beautiful for us. The most memorable part of the journey was going down. We couldn't handle any walking. So we just sat down and we gave up on life and we literally slid our way down. So imagine the world's longest foofy slide. And I wish I had a GoPro to film that part. And my mom even said this reminds her of her days when she was a kid. It was insane. So amazing. Cameron 你们两个谁来中国比较久啊 他的理解能力要比你强哟<笑><笑> <笑>他们不会说我看你只是简单的沟通我自己学的你自己学的没有专门上专门的中文课就自学的我去上班第一然后我就去上班中文然后六百五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十五十
Um, <laughs> <laughs>